Hey everybody, it's Blue Trade and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. Now, one other thing I want to possibly check around the city is the shops because they might have some new stuff for us. Uh, but let me check, quickly have a look at this vending machine. We have a lot of LP, which is pretty good. So let me buy some stuff. It might take some time though. Because I can't just buy as many as I want at a time. You have to actually go through manually getting each one. But the, the stuff from the vending machine is pretty good, so... At least I'd say it is. It's well worth it. Which is why I'm getting the, the least of them, for some reason. But it's fine. Does this have other stuff? Full, full of like, all kinds of snacks. Nope, doesn't have anything else, apparently. Now, let me just quickly check the map to see what other shops are around here. Probably should check that one. So let me do that, then. I could also go to the sandwich shop to see if there's any new um, recipes. Let's see, is there? Well, there's several things, a lot of things actually. Black glasses could be good to power up dark type moves. Also, ground type would also be good to have that powered up possibly. Fighting type. Oh my goodness, ice. Oh, that's another one that I don't have. Ice. I forgot ice was a type in the in the game. It's fine. It's another one that I don't have. Psychic type. Steel type. Want to strike moves, Shell Bell, we've seen those before. Metronome, an item held by a Pokemon. It boosts the power of a move that is re used repeatedly. Once the chain is broken, the move's power turns to normal. So that could be good for... someone, I think? I can't remember. Uh, scoping out. Weak points, it boosts the holder's critical hit ratio. That's just good in general, probably so. A wide lens. Slightly boosts the accuracy of the holder's moves. Covert cloak. Uh, this sort of cloak conceals the holder, tricking the eyes of the, its enemies and protecting it from additional effects of moves. That sounds incredible. If that can like avoid like status effects. Is that I think that's what I'm understanding from this? Then that is incredible. Twenty thousand Poké Dollars is well worth it for that probably. But I'm gonna leave that for now and check the other stuff that's here. All these things. Also, smoke ball, which allows us to flee without fail. I think it's a held item. Yeah. I don't know what these nectar things are for exactly. It, it says that it's for changing the form of special s species of Pokemon. But I don't know how that works. So yeah, th this, there's, there's some special stuff there that I don't know how to use because I've never seen them before. Uh, Pokeballs. We can buy nest balls, repeat balls, and net balls. I really just want to find quick balls eventually. But buying nest balls would be good at some point, so that, I'm glad that that's available. Rotom phone cases. See if there's anything new, which there is. Some Pokemon. Oh, navy blue. I kind of want that. So Swablu, Combi, Applin. So many things to get in this game. Put it on right away. Ah, uh, that's everything in that shop. So let's leave that for now. I really am never going to get used to the way that it, the camera turns around when you exit a shop. New sandwiches. Oh, it's you again. I thought up some new recipes. Those recipes make mouth-wateringly good sandwiches. Give it a try. Give them a try sometime. I think uh, I'll... If I think up new recipes, I'll sure, be sure to teach them to you. Cool. We've learned things. Now, let me see if there's another shop, maybe. Although, Delibird presents presence is pretty good. It's the main one, I think, out of them all. Chancy Supply, maybe. Uh, picnic Knickknacks, where you can buy some stuff for customizing your picnic setup. I don't think I need to check that, so... Let me just go over this way, then. And quickly check this, because I don't think I'm going to want anything from here, possibly. Chancy Supply. Yeah, this is all this stuff. And it's all the same stuff, actually, so nothing new. 
So that's everything in the shops I need to check out. So let's head on out to the next Titan Pokemon then. Hopefully. Also, I should probably check the status of my other Pokemon. Since it's been a bit. We're doing alright, so let's keep going. I should have actually checked what type my Pokemon are so I can actually... Set up some whole held items for that. Kind of. You're already holding something. What is the item that you're holding? Can I check hold item? Slightly boost special moves. Shell bell. Charcoal. Loaded dice. I can't remember who it was that has the continuous hit move. It might not be any of these ones actually. No, it was Thrash, wasn't it? That one. Interesting. I should actually possibly get that, but I think I'm going to leave it as it is so I can make sure I am actually catching Pokemon instead of just killing them. If that makes sense. Oh ho ho, you brought it. Uh, bought out it. Bought it. My fake out. My fake out, that is. Now it's battle time. Okay. Ernesto the student. Now, any, anything effective? Kind of. Use confusion. Did you just steal something from me? You stole my sh shell bell. And now you're recovering. How dare you. Psybeam. Just to do all the power in the universe. Got a key current Pokemon, I think. And I'm, if, I, if I remember correctly, we, we did catch a Growlithe. So I don't need to worry about that. Just seeing the Growlithe in the background. Of course it's using Dig. That's fine. If only I had Earthquake. That's probably something I should actually get at some point. Okay, how are we doing? We're done. Cool. That little joke really cost me. Yeah, it did. Also, just gonna make sure, because I'm I'm still not sure. For some reason. No, I'm good, cool. No need to extra panic or worry more than I already have. Pretty sure I haven't caught any of these though. So let's take a look at fighting one. I think I have the pre-evolutionary form of it, so. A Qfant. Not very effective, that's okay. I don't need it to be effective, I'm trying to catch it. What level is it? I'll find out one day. Level 24, so I could probably use a nest ball on it, possibly. I don't know what the parameters of a nest ball are exactly. It probably just depends, like it's each level, it multiplies the effect by a certain amount. Possibly, but I don't know. Let's throw that. One, two, three, caught. Nice. And we definitely have the thing rolling in the round in the background because we got that in a terror raid battle, I'm pretty sure. Speak of terror raid battles, I should probably be doing that. This is a steel type. I would not have expected that. I don't know what I would have expected, but I don't think I'd have expected that. So. Also, heals are weird with sending out Pokemon. Also, hello, Pokemon. A roly coly. Hang on, let me switch Pokemon, please. I don't know what to, but something. There's also a Diglett. But we've already got a Diglett. We got one in the cave at the very beginning of the game. Ah, uh, Bug Buzz. Please don't kill it. Please don't kill it. That's actually a strong move, isn't it? Yeah, that was way too strong. That's fine. You'll power up my Pokemon, but it won't help me catch anymore. Well, it's that one sleeping. That's cool. Okay, so let's think about this. Rolly Col no, Bug Buzz was 90 power. 
Let's try Confusion since that's 50. That's better. But that move was super effective. That's no good. That's fine. We just need to catch this Pokemon and then we can do something like heal or something. I don't know. Nice catch. Oh, I hear a Gimme Ghoul. I think. Rock type. It's not just my stomach growling, is it? It's not just that Pokemon sleeping right there. There must be a Gimme Ghoul, right? I'm not crazy. Probably. It's not over here. Because I thought it might be on, on that rock there or something. I don't think it's over here. If it is, I'm pretty sure I heard it. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I heard it. Also, we're getting a little bit destroyed right now. There's a Meowth. I haven't... I don't remember if I caught a Meowth yet. I think I did. No, I might have seen one, but I didn't catch catch one because it was it was a trainer with the one. Uh, confusion. Get confused. Nope, you're going to take out my Pokemon. That's fine. Got him off fainted. Choose next Pokemon because I want to catch this Pokemon. This area looks really cool with the like railing and the lights around it. Up ahead, at least. I feel like an area that's all like dirt like this is hard to make interesting. But I feel like the the stuff that they've put in here is kind of interesting. I think there needs to be a little bit more of something on the, like, close to the path. I feel like, you know? It's pretty good as it is, but I feel like it's missing something. Also, this Volt Orb. That's interesting. I think this is going to explode unless I manage to catch it earlier. Uh, Ultra Ball. One, two, three, caught. Nice. Voltorb was caught. No self destruct to worry about. Did I just collect sparks? I don't know. Electric, electric type. Pretty sure it has a. Pre-evolution? Am I wrong about that? I might be wrong about that. That might be the pre-evolution. Also, that is a Diglett. No, Doug Trio. That's one. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. It's it's the same thing, technically, kind of. Uh, mud shot. Since it's not going to be super effective, it's going to be resistant to it, as well as it being my weakest move that I have. I think it, no, it may, I don't know, it didn't say it was resistant, resistant to it, but it's fine. I'm gonna throw a Great Ball. We don't need to catch this, but I'm gonna do it because it's gonna be easier than just evolving my Diglett. Sucker Punch. But it failed. Okay, Great Ball again. You've gotta be kidding me, come on. You're lower level than me. This should not be this difficult. Nest Ball. I mean, it's still got a fair bit of health left, so that's probably why I'm struggling with this catch, but still. Mud Slap. Gonna really rub it in my face now. Use my own move against me. Nest Ball. I'm gonna drink more water to raise my power level. One, two, nope, you've, you're really fighting me. Come on, just let me, let me just, just let me catch you. I mean, I could just take the experience. It's very tempting. I'll try an Ultra Ball because I don't want to be here too long. One, two, three, caught, finally. 
feels nice seeing the 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 bowls in 3D. Ground type. And that's its full evolution. All two forms. Uh, hang on, let me. Uh, which button's the menu? I, I keep forgetting which button's the menu because it's not what I expect it to be. Just gonna take these out before I fight this guy. Is there anything else around here? I was still looking for a gimmick, wasn't I? That's why I came over this way and I still haven't found it. Era 3 of the East Providence is a mining belt. We dig, dig, deep, dig for metals. Ephraim the Worker. Sent out Stone Drawer. <laughs> That's a really cool Pokemon. Anyway, let's probably muddy water this. It's super effective. One shot. I mean, I'm also overleveled, but still. One shot. I see you're no stranger to hard work. Also, just a little, as a little update, my friend has already finished the game because they maxed out their, their first Pokemon to level 100 and that's all that they did, basically. But it means I'm probably going to have to play some more to... Come on, please. <laughs> just go up and grab the item. Energy powder. It means I'm probably going to have to keep working on my team a lot more to figure out how I want to build it. I mean, it's pretty decent right now. I feel like it needs some adjustments though, so I'm gonna figure that out at some point. Okay, no gimme ghoul. It's surprising. I'm all the way up here and there's no gimme ghoul. But if I, if I was hearing it on the road, I surely, surely it's closer to over here. Maybe it was just another Pokemon that I heard. It's so hard to tell is the problem. Also, hello. I'm gonna just take you out because that's the easiest thing to do. Will-O-Wisp TM. There is no thing, is there? No Gimmagool. It was a lie. The game was trying to trick me. I still haven't run into any shiny Pokemon. It concerns me. Let me make sure I still haven't seen any because I, I'm, I'm still worried that that's going to happen at some point. Ah. 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 Right on time, I guess. I don't even know what one I might have walked past. I don't know if it was on screen or if it just spawned in and I didn't see it. I don't even know if it's like one of these ones. <laughs> because of what, what would it look like? I don't know. It's not down there, it's not over here, it's not anywhere. I think that means I've missed it, possibly. Unless I caught one with that nose to sing. I doubt that very much. Uh, anyway, let's try and move on quickly because we need to go to the Titan Pokemon. We should be able to handle it at our current level. Yo, Jeremy. So, somewhere in one of these, one of those mines that are around here, we should find that lurking Steel Titan. Rumor has it that that's, uh, that the, that the thing's strangely huge, or staggeringly huge, and real long. You'd think a Pokemon like uh, that would be easy to spot. I wonder how it stays hidden. Maybe it's super fast. If that's the case, running up that Pokemon of yours might help you catch it. Catch up. Also, I think I'm probably going to switch Pokemon then to Pormo for this, because I have a feeling I'm going to need that. Heat Rock. I don't know what that does. It does something. Okay, surely, like, this is the spot, right? No, it's over that way. Never mind. I'm skipping all the trainers for now. I might come back. Hopefully, at some point. <laughs> I won't forget. Maybe. Also, if the Pokemon, the shiny Pokemon is like on top of a ledge somewhere, I was, there was no way I would have found it. So it should be over this way. 
somewhat. I would assume it's in this cave, maybe. Or above this cave. Or like right here. Wow. Is this it? I assume this is it. Oh, there it goes. A, a touch? I, I touch? Oh, it's up there. Please. Backwards long jump. Save me. I hope they haven't patched that out. Hang on, this way up anyway. Did I do it? I guess I did it. I'm not sure if I need to press a button for that, because I, I, I tried a button and it didn't... I don't know, it's working. Anyway. Ew, it's got things that stick out occasionally. Anyway. Orthworm, the, the lurking steel Pokemon. Let's use Spark. That wasn't super effective, so it's probably fine. I would have thought that electric would be effective against steel, but maybe I'm wrong. Arm thrust? One. Two. Three. Four. It's super effective. Okay, a fighting type was a good move. For that, then. Hurt by wrap. That's not good. Arm thrust. One critical hit. Two, and we're we're good. Just need to wait for this this to end then. Before we go into the next phase, I might have trouble with the next phase. Also, I might want to replace Pormo at some point. Possibly. I just feel like I could be doing more right now, but maybe I'm underleveled for this specifically. Because I, it doesn't say what level it is, so... Um, it's gone? Interesting. We also ought to heal. Some stuff. Can I... Okay, must be revived first. I can't auto heal a downed Pokemon. Oh, so this just goes right in. Okay, cool. This is very cool, actually. Oh, this part part two is actually a part two. There might even be a part three. Gotcha! No, it's just this. Okay, cool. Probably? Unless it's another tunnel. No, it's the cave. The Titan Orthworm began eating something. Jeremy, you managed to pin down the Titan. That's the lurking steel Titan? It's, uh, well, it sure is long. I think our little friend might be even feistier now after eating those herbs. We're gonna need to do this together, Jeremy. This is going to be fine. So let's use our uh, arm thrust. Hang on. Dig is also super effective. Which one's more powerful? I mean, if I terrestrialize... No, that's electric. Okay. Um... Just arm thrust. Since it hits multiple times. Doesn't matter how big an opponent is. Victory's going to taste so good seasoned by my... To toadstool. Toad's cool. Two. He has a lot of health. Three. Or a lot of defense. Four. I should have had that other move. Actually, I, 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 did, I did give it an item for this. Cool. Hit five times. Orthworm, you sandstorm. A sandstorm kicked up, which means we'll get hurt over time. Both of us, I think. Possibly. Although, I think it depends. I don't know what... Like, what sets it. I think it's probably going to be alright, but I don't know. I don't know how you don't get hit by the sandstorm. One, two, three, four. It's super effective. Let's see what our ally can do as well. Headbutt. We're alright. Toad School used supersonic. Orthworm avoided the attack. 
Buffeted by the sandstorm. Let's finish it off. It's super effective. And it's gone now. We did it. Oh, look at that experience. Wow. That's pretty good. We did it, Jeremy. Way to go, little buddy. I told you not to call me that. Did you get a good look at its face, though? I didn't expect a titan to be such a little cutie. I bet if we go in here, we'll find more of that Herba Mystica I ate ape before. Let's go find it. Find it before that thing can re can regroup. I didn't realize it could regroup. We kind of sent it to the next to the next dimension. I'm sure there's some here too. Aha! We're just gonna ignore the fact that there's a Pokeball on the ground? I guess we are. I knew it! I spy Herba Mystica. Salty. Another successful search. We're on a roll. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? Well, apparently, Salty Herba Mystica helps with aching hands and feet. Good for neuropathy and numbness. When, uh, when you've got muscles, muscle weakness, it supposedly builds up strength again. This will definitely help uh, Mabose Tiff feel even better. Come on, Jeremy, let's get some, some food going. Yeah! Hey up! Watch it! Sorry to keep you waiting. Here you go, another of your favorite old oven sandwiches. And it comes with a special Titan badge. The Pokemon League might not recognize it, but I hope you appreciate it all the same. Figure this might happen. Don't worry, I made extra this time for that brute of yours. Well, uh, this is this, this is our share. Come on out, my boastiff. Got some for you too, bud. That's it. Small bites. Small bites. Chomp. Crowder will now- will be able to jump higher now. Finally. <laughs> Come on, at least bother to taste it before you swallow it right down, would ya? This brute seems to be benefiting from the herbs, too. I guess it's in its own sort of way. Oh yeah. Before I get- I forget. Jeremy, take another look at this. There's always a Pokemon- Titan Pokemon near the Herba Mystica when we find him, right? Looks like- uh, like the book says, it's not like big old Pokemon just happen to like these herbs. It's actually something in the herbs that's making the Titan so big and strong. So does that mean a titan's lair isn't really some kind of treasure hoard or whatever? It's just a pantry where the titan keeps its food. Oh, you're done with your sandwich, my boss Tiff. R 
rough? You... you heard that, right, Jeremy? M my boast tiff just woofed, right? Ah, uh, yes. I heard it. Right, I'm not imagining things. Actually, you are. See? See that? I knew I wasn't hearing things. I am a boast tiff. Who's my best bud, huh? Who's the best boys? Best of boys. You are, yes, you are. <laughs> it's been, it's been such a long time, uh, so, so long since I heard that woof. My boast tiff is definitely getting better. Ever since I teamed up with you, good things keep happening. But we've still got two more herbs to go. Hope you'll stick it out until we're done. Hello, Jeremy. This is Sada. I detect that Coridon has regained more of its original power. While you're riding upon it, it, it seems it can now jump higher if you press the B- Press and hold the B button. If you press and hold the B button, Coridon will now be able to jump higher than before. If you give the B button a quick press, it will perform a smaller jump instead. Please continue to take good, good care of Coridon. Okay, so now we can jump higher. Whoa, whoa. Much higher. That's great. That's gonna be so helpful. No more backwards long jumping, sadly, but, you know. 